Hello everybody, Sifri again with another modded inscription act one run. And um, yesterday people liked the myth mods, so I decided to play again with the myth mods. Same mods as yesterday, so drafting mod, myth mod, and uh, the sigils mod. I think uh, those are the only ones I have. If I have one or two more, then I guess that when they appear I will remember them. Otherwise, if they don't appear, who knows? I'm, I'm pretty sure I haven't anything else. Let's see how this will go with the four pelts. Ooh, we got the Katakira. What? We know that this is good. We know that this is good. We also got the Manticore with the with the wolf and the what is this called? Insect, I guess. Sigil. Three cost though. The three cost is killing me. By the way, I also found the Hippocampus. And also the. I think this is like really bad. Uh, I think the dev actually. Uh, saw the video and said that uh, there might be a bit of balancing going on, but <laughs> I shot the video a bit too early, I guess, so no balance changes yet. This this is, like, really bad. This this should cost one and should be... Because, like, think about it. A mole is a one cost zero four that tries to block all attacks and then dies. This thing is... Uh, th this sigil is worse for blocking. Borrower is worse for blocking, in my opinion. And uh, loose tail... It's good for blocking, but it but still this is worse. So this thing overall has two worse sigil for blocking than uh, either way. I'm not gonna pick it up. So Katakawawa, this thing stays for sure. Yeah, this is like a very good unit. Although last time I have evolving on it. Uh, Hippocampus, most likely it's a two mana three one. I like it. And now the question is, do I go for the Rat King to get the sigil out of it? I think getting the sigil out of Rat King is a good idea because this um, this mod has some ten some some bold units. But I'm percent sure if that's a good idea. I can get Rat King and Opossum. Manticore, I'm still not sure about it. I don't see any real way of playing this other than cheating it in. And right now I don't have any way of cheating it in. And it's a three man, a three four. I mean Maybe I should play these two. Manticore is not really playable to be honest. 3 mana is really too much. I think. Let's get the Rat King and the Manticore. I think these two are the choices. Or, or otherwise it would be these two. I think this is better. Yeah, let, let's go for a for an early. Let's go for a bit an early play. I don't think the... That thing, it, it's a bit too expensive. I think I should transfer the Rat King on the Opossum. And have the Opossum just be a sacrifice thing. So that would mean here. And then I have flame. Yeah, let's go here. Uh, yeah, let's transfer this. I could transfer this too, though. On what? I don't have any god cards right now. Let's go here on the opossum. Make it a co two cost that later becomes... Um, gives you four bones. I know it's not one of my best cards, but it will do. It will do. That... Ah. It always feels like it's cracking its head. Opossum's here and uh, Coyote's coming in. I mean, I'm gonna play this here and play the Karakotokawa over there. And uh, yeah. Kata, let me read this one for, for once, like, correctly. Let me try to read it correctly. Kata Kirawa. Kata Kirawa. Okay. Kata Kirawa is how we're gonna go with this. Uh, I'm about to do one and take two. Yeah, that's good. I can handle it. And this is gonna create a bone too. I like that this creates bones. Alright, play the opossum on the right. Play this thing, Hippocampus, over here and we win. Bop, bop, bop. Da, 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 da. And next turn we get some money. Now he's gonna surrender. Most of the time he surrenders here. Oh, he did not. Okay. That's slashy for you. So people like this mod and I decided to play it again. As simple as that. That's how we roll here. That's how we roll on this channel. You guys like it? I play more and I also liked it. There are like 30 plus cards here and I, I, I like used five of them. Other. Ah, it's a flame run, boys. It's a flame run. And when I say it's a flame run, you know that we're gonna get a 5 1 other out of this, right? You know it. You know, you know, you know it. You know it. We wait a bit. We wait a bit. I'm telling you, there is like a secret thing that's waiting in the back, and the more you think about it, the more the higher the chance it burns out. Nope. 
He said to keep it right there. No, he said the words. No, no. I knew this was going to happen. Everybody knew that this was going to happen. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the next flame. I don't care. I'm gonna throw the adder in the flame. I hate it. I hate the adder. Let's go here. Let's go Katakirawa. Ass. Bup, bup. But if the adder is useful, it has poison. Ah. Let's go here. Where we pass. Tuck, tuck. Got a double kill. I like how it's turning back. Like it gets the kill and then turns back right away. Just because it wants to give you the um, the damage of the kill, you know. Let's go Adder. Adder. You know who survived the flame. Okay, money time. Surrender. No, I guess. Did the surrender bug out too? I don't even know anymore. People have told me that the totem bug is not from my from the sigil mod. Yeah, but from what is it? I, the only possible explanation for the totem uh, bug uh, is that something is completely bugged out because it happens with the mod manager and it also happens with the, just the JSON loader. We go for one cost always. One costs are overall the most useful quote unquote playable cards, I guess. Ah, life? Mm hmm, mm hmm. We know what we're throwing in there. Burn! 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 This is going to be the thumbnail, most likely. <laughs> I don't even know. Ah, another flame. I'm gonna burn it there. I don't care. This is not surviving. Um, let's go here into here. Katakirawa. Bup, bup, double hit. Classic opening move. And Katakirawa is dead. But it doesn't matter because the adder is coming in in the next turn. Yes. I like how the moment he hits, he goes instantly back. Okay, so I'm gonna play the adder and the opossum next turn. Adder goes this turn, opossum next turn. Hey, look, it's poisonous. Uh, do you do you know what? Do you know what? Is there is there more? Is there more definitive? By the way, there is no reason to kill that. Let's go here to get a damage through. Is there more definitive explanation of why poisonous trash when you see things like this? I'm obviously not gonna pick up a pack rat, so let's go with whatever. I'm gonna go with wolf. Wolf cub, perfect. That's a good card. I'm playing with mods, by the way. Damage. You know I wanna throw in the Katakurawa twice, right? I'm gonna double this Katakurawa. And it's gonna burn, I'm telling you. Whoa, we got it. We got an insta kill here. Let's go. Pick up the insta kill on the Katakurawa. This is going swimmingly. We're in eight minutes onto the first boss fight. This is a wannabe flame run. Maybe, you know what? Maybe flame in act one doesn't burn your cards. I don't know what it is. Every time I'm trying to bin a, a card that supposed to, supposedly kills the flame dudes, in the first act, it always takes me like 10 flame attempts. I mean, 10 flame triggers or maybe 12 to get my first burn. I hope it's understandable what I'm saying here. Um, I don't think it's weird. Uh, let's go with... Okay, I'm thinking about playing Squirrel into Wolf Cub, into Greater greater Smoke, into Elk Fawn. Elk Fawn will attack here and move to the right. Then Evolve, attack here and move to the left. Uh, then this thing is gonna most likely damage it, and then this is gonna kill this, and most likely the backline too. At that point, I will have set up. My, uh, my whole thing. So we go uh, Elk Fawn. Here we go Greater Smoke into Wolf Cup. And pass. Tax moves to the right. Now we take a damage here, two damage. Maybe I should have just thrown a... That doesn't matter. Maybe I should have just thrown a Greater Smoke in there. Opossum is here though. You know what? Opossum is a good play right now in my opinion. Get rid of that stupid thing. Also continue getting damage through. Yeah, let's go. Now this is gonna move to the right. Mole came in. Enemy's not gonna lose because of the mole. Yeah, that was a bad a misplay, actually. A misplay. A misplay has a turd. Turd. But you're just gonna kill my wolf. I'm not willing to let that happen. So I'm gonna go hippocampus. 
and uh, kill the pack new. I can delay this. There is no rush. There's no rush. There's no rush. First you. Yeah, both moved. All the mole will die from the elk. Turkey vulture, what did you give me? Turkey vulture is insane. You're crazy, man. Takirawa is here, so the win is in hand. Yes. Yep, this is dead. Now random wolf comes in in a bad spot. And now this is over pretty much, as there are no other enemies. And uh, yeah, we can pass for 5 damage. Now it's gonna ding us, and then we're gonna ding him back for a million. Ding. Ding. By the way, I have not... Uh, I don't have the hammer. Let's go here. Let's go... Uh, you see, that's why Katakurawa is better than this stupid adder 5-9. Let's go. Boop, boop. Light shot. It's one of these days. I think the video is going to be called something like it's, it's one of these days. But I, I need to mention the myth, the mythic things. I don't know. Let's go on and see. We got a long elk to throw in the flame, but at this point, I'm not even going to do a flame run anymore. Chimera. Chimera. Chimera or Chimera? So in Greek, this is Chimera. So... If if you take it from Greek, it should be chim, chim, Chimera, but I think it's Chimera or Chimera. chimera? I, I, I don't even know. It costs four blood, though. It's a bit too much. It's a bit too much. This is a super Ural Yuli, by the way, but I'm really sad about the blood cost. I can't play this. I don't have any way of using this, but I could use, I could get the unit to get the sigils out of it. Yeah, I could get this unit to get the sigils out of it. And that's a play. This is whenever... This is like... Yeah, this is bugged. This is, as far as I know, that it uh, whenever you play a unit, this tries to go next to it. That's what this is, I think. Should I get the Chimera just because of the fact that it has the Worthy Sacrifice sigil on it? You know, I could do that. Or I could just go for the Long Elk, have a Poisonous unit in the team. Now let's get the Chim Chimera. Chimera? Chimera. Chimera. Maybe it's Chimera, maybe it's Chimera. I don't even know. I'm telling you, it's really weird. When, when I find the words that exist in Greek, uh, I'm gonna go and sacrifice the Chimera there. When I find the words that, that exist in Greek, I always think about Majestic. I didn't even read what it said. I only read Majestic. We all we, we obviously go for the Bishoyo. Bishojo? Bishoyo? Bishojo is somebody. Somebody told me it's written Bicho, Bishojo. Either way, I'm gonna go for this. This is like a very, very powerful unit. Now, let's throw the Chimera in the bin and see. This is now definitive proof. If Worthy Sacrifice on, uh, on a card before getting removed is actually the trigger for this. I'm pretty sure it's not. The Bone Lord is deeply satisfied. It's not deeply... It is actually, it counts. So we just tested something. Normally, normally, when you transfer the Worthy Sacrifice onto another unit and then sacrifice that unit on the Bone Lord, you don't get it. So up to this point, I thought it's on the on, it's on the Goat, that the Goat itself is the Worthy Sacrifice. But now we had a unit that had, uh, by default, the, the Worthy Sacrifice unit. So maybe it is if the unit has by default. Now the thing is, did... Is, is it this, or is it... Oh, somebody buffed the ringworm. Nutritious. Who buffed the ringworm? I guess it's the mythic, the mythic thing? I, I don't know if it's the mythic thing or the one sigil a day. I don't know who buffed the ringworm. Either way, this is a really good change for the ringworm. I love it. I love it. Whoever did this change, whoever, whichever mod did this change, is uh, is very smart, in my opinion. Because you either want to throw the... Uh, stop. You either want to throw the ringworm in the flame, or you... Why did I start with a mid? Whoa, we are a bone. I just realized. Yo, we're flying now. I'm super happy. Let's go here. Let's go this into Wolf Cup to the right. We pass. Maybe I should have played the Wolf Cup here. Doesn't matter though. I know that the work runs gonna come in. Now these evolve, and now I do six damage, and I win on the on the spot. On the spot, we win. Let's go here. Would be nice if this uh, nutritious also healed your units if uh, when you kill it. Or oh, starting with bones is insane. Now, now I want Oni. Now, now is a chance to get Oni. RP. It's a two cost two four flyer. I'm gonna go with cockroach. I mean, I'm literally starting with eight bones. Or once cockroach. No, 
No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, it's bugged again. It's bugged again. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna remove the sigils totem. Actually, give me a second to see the the, the mods right now. So I got a crash here that says, I I I can see I can read the crash the, the the bug right now. So the the thing says, uh, first of all we got a null, null reference exception, obviously object reference to set instance on object, blah 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 stack trace, um, generate. Give me give me a second to read through this. Okay, so I'm back. I got some good news and some bad news. So, good news is that it's not the art mods. I mean, it is the art mod a bit because uh, the error stack is uh, different if I have the art mod or not. But uh, <laughs> with this thing I just said, you realize what the bad news is, right? <laughs> so, it, it, the bug with the totem is even happening when I, I, I don't have any single mod. So, if I remove every single mod I have installed and still try, try the same save file, it still had bugs. Uh, I uploaded the bugs in the, uh, the my, my stack, like my, my bug trace stack, whatever it's called, onto the technical support thing on uh, on the modding server. So if you are like a programmer or somebody awesome that knows how to find solutions or whatever, then uh, maybe go over there and look into it. And uh, maybe you are the one that's gonna save me from uh, from this bug. And I guess it's gonna be a shout out at that point. <laughs> now I'm gonna imagine like 150, like 200 people are gonna rush onto. <laughs> okay, if you do that, if you try to go over there and uh, try to fix the bug in the technical aspect, uh, just say say I came here to try to fix the bug for Sift. You know, let's let's make it visible that a bunch of people joined the server just because. <laughs> uh, for a specific purpose, I'm not gonna. <sighs> what is this? Let's go for the cockroach. The the by the way, the um, the mod is still active. Yeah, the mod the mod is still active. Every mod is still active. That's why I also have the card. So that was a bit unlucky there. I think I want to send off a cockroach onto the Bishoyo. Although as far as I know, when it evolves, you lose the sigil. No, that's that's not true, right? No, 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 that's definitely not true. I think yeah, well, no, no, no. I remember that the problem was Bishoyo costs six after she evolves. That's the main problem. Maybe add it to the adder. <laughs> uh, uh, the adder is a meme at this point. And there is another sacrifice coming up. And this is a shop. You know what? Forget sacrifice. Let's go over here. I'm going to skip this with a tactic. I, I I want to avoid the, the shop for sure. I want to... Should I should I avoid the shop? I don't know why I'm avoiding the shop though so much. Let's go here. Let's, uh, let's get some trash in my deck. I... Uh, where where's the old sift? Where where did you go? Evolution on the adder, making it an elder adder. I think I should send off the cockroach to um, most likely the Bishoyo. I mean, if Bishoyo Bishoyo dies turn one, then uh, I can just play it again. If it uh, dies after it evolves, it's a six bones unit. That's not actually trash. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent unit after it evolves. So, oh, actually, this thing is better. <laughs> Let's go for a sacrifice on this. <laughs> let's make sure that we don't lose this thing like ever. Now let's go to the elite. Yeah, hi -ya. I'm always having fun with uh, the head. It always remind me like the, the head choke. Um, I, I don't know what it's called in English. You know, the, the neck breaker. The, the classic that they do in fighting movies or whatever. Opossum is here. Actually, everybody is here. I can take a hit from the Rattler. Can I actually take a hit? I mean, the Elk Fawn definitely can attack here and the next move. So Elk Fawn should begin here, move here next turn, and then last turn go over here and uh, take a hit from the Rattler and also do some damage. In the meantime, the Wolf Cub should actually stay on the right and try to hit for some damage. And uh, does that even make sense? You know what? Forget it. I'm going to send the Opossum in to assassinate. I'm going to suicide my little, little Elk Fawn. Take that, that. We get hit for four. And now it's coming in. Not my adder. Uh, let's throw a real card. Nice. Hippo Hippocampus is here. Uh, should I play the squirrel into a Hippocampus? I can play these two, actually. A possum over here kills the rattler, starts doing damage. Adder's gonna kill my wolf. You know, maybe. How much damage is coming in? 
I'm taking. I'm about to take two and I'm about to do three. I think I should play the hippocampus. Hippocampus. This is a Greek word, by the way. Um, let's. Yeah, hippocampus over here kills the rattler. Next move turns over here. I uh, that attacks us, but we kill it regardless. And then goes over here, tries to kill the skin. The skin's gonna go over there. It's gonna move back. Yeah, the hippocampus is gonna clear shot, but it's going to not do anything else other than that. The elk fawn, on the other hand, kills this, and then goes to the left and dies. Yeah, that's worse. You know what's better? Elk fawn hitting the skink, making the skink move, and then go over here and die. That's also a bad idea. Maybe elk fawn into a possum. A possum kills the rattler. This gets boxed in. I think that's the play. Elk fawn, the play I did, I said with the skink. Actually, I don't want to lose the elk fawn. Wow, this is really bad. Actually, Hippocampus should clear shop. I think that's the play. I do 3 damage with Wolf, then Hippocampus kills here. We take 2. Then we take next turn 1. And at that point, I will have fixed everything. Let's go here. Pass. I can even just draw. I can just draw squirrel if I want. Squirrels if I want. Oh, Rattler's coming and we're dead. Forget it. Plan failed. Plan has failed. Uh... I think I just play Squirrel here. I'm about to take 2 damage. 2 damage is bearable. 3 damage is not. We hit this, move to the left. We take 1 from here and 1 from here. The next turn I can kill the Rattler. And uh, I will take how much if I kill... next. I take 2 now. And the third one next turn. I don't think I can somehow damage next turn. Kill the Rattler or hook the Rattler? Or just get rid of this stupid thing. If I kill, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. I want to get rid of the sword. I want to get rid of the sword. My speed has dropped immensely, by the way. But so be it. And uh, I'm not gonna play the elk fawn. I'm not gonna play anything actually. I could have killed the elk fawn off on the squirrel. Imagine if we lose now. <laughs> I don't think we're losing. Is a rattler coming in? A rattler's coming in. How much life do I have? I have enough. I have enough. I can play the elk fawn here. By the way, the this adder is dead. This rattler is blocked. Yeah, this rattler is the only one that's surviving. So we're definitely doing this. And I would say kill the rattler and let the elk fawn die from the adder. I'm telling you, this symbol is trash for whoever doubted me whenever I was saying it. Yeah, uh, this is... Uh, do you need more proof than this? I guess some do need more proof than this. Now I lose my do stupid elk one. You can calculate it and use it. Yeah, no, if, if it goes only to the right. No, 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 I disagree. You cannot actually calculate and use it correctly. Because it just... Uh, you don't choose when you want to move. So sometimes it just is trash. Come on, let's get the win here. Should have maybe just drawn real cards from the get-go. I think that was my misplay. Let's get some money. I'm gonna go to the shop in a moment. Uh, this is 5 damage, while these 2 are 3. So we go here. Now nah, the cockroach good now, huh? See if the cockroach good now, huh? <laughs> My, I'm hearing voices of people who th think that the cockroach is awesome. <laughs> Let's see what we can draw. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go with the goat, as always. Close the box. Off we go. Yep. Imagine if this was bugged out too. Yep, let's go. I would like to get, I would say, one, two, three, four. Let's go five cards. And now we just hope that we find a shop before we find pretty much anything else and lose, you know. <laughs> Can I get an early shop? Uh, I think I should transfer the cockroach onto the Bishoyo. Now. Yeah, let's do that. It's like a thousand times better, and if it evolves, it might become six cost. But at least it's a six cost that's overpowered. You know, it's not a, it's not a four cost that's a one one. Right now, it's a two cost that's a one one. It also has the mortality, so I can still use it as a blocker if need be. I can throw it under the bin whenever I get the chance, and protect my either my life points or kill something. You know, and then when it evolves, then uh, I just hope it does die again. Ah, yes, the classic golden pelt hand. Uh, at least the wolf cub's gonna carry us. At least the wolf cub's gonna carry us. Yeah, we take one there. This is going to be a joke. Yeah, I don't care. Let's go here. 
Here you can have your golden pelt. Whip pass. Whip pass. Kingfisher's coming in. Bup, bup, bup. They don't even do enough damage. Uh-oh, we're about to win. Uh-oh, let's draw some real cards. Uh-oh, be sure you're here. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's I would like to have something that sacrifices blood, you know? Please, because I want to kill the wolf off when I need to. Please, again. Blood sacrifice unit. Oh, thank you. It's the carry adder. Uh, let's send off another golden pelt. <laughs> well... Now we got a stupid golden pelt on the board. And the worst thing is that it's going to even spawn an enemy. <laughs> Damn it. Either way, it doesn't really matter though. As uh, I have the Bishoyo. And I also have the Opossum. And uh, now we're going to go with Sacrifice This and This. And just get a win out of this. About 5 damage. I could have sacrificed the Bishoyo. No, 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 no. This was the right play. Because uh, where would I play the next one? I don't have the hammer anymore. I couldn't smash... Um Either the wolf or the cockroach. Whatever. Actually, was that the cockroach on the right? I don't even know what it was anymore. No, huh. I guess we were bone heavy, so Amiibo is gonna do. Yeah, these are like a complete trash. This this here, the upside doesn't even work. I don't have totems. We're at Yuli. I mean, we're not gonna go into blood territory. Does it feel like there is a bug? Does it feel like I can't find more new cards? Am I wrong about that? It's to me like I can't find new cards anymore. Might be wrong. Come on, I'm gonna see six cards here. Okay, yeah, the, the, the mods work correctly. Okay. So that, that was pretty weird. Like, like last run, I, I got like a million uh, rares uh, from the mods, and now I only got one. Uh, these are all trash. I mean, this is not complete trash, but uh, I mean, it, it, maybe it should be a 2 5. You know, if, if it's going to sacrifice itself, maybe it should be a 2 5. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This this is literally better than the Raven. Either way, let's continue. AC is here. Centaur is here. Who costs two three? Makes everybody. I don't like this. I don't like the, that that it's hefty. Why is the centaur hefty? I understand that it would move around, but why would it be hefty? Why why would it just push your whole team around? I'm gonna go with Casey. I'm sorry, Centaur, but this hefty thing is uh, the reason I'm not gonna pick you up. That's uh, that's how it goes. Casey stays in the team. Now here I would like to sacrifice something with blood sacrifice, but I obviously don't have anything. Uh, I think my worst unit is actually the Elk Fawn. Maybe Amoeba. No, I think Amoeba is worse. Yeah, let's throw... Um, actually, I can use it for sacrifice. KC is good. I think the Elk Fawn is the worst one yet. Ah, I think it's the Elk Fawn. I'm sorry, but... So be it. Now we start with nine bones. Did I have a choice for a worthy sacrifice anywhere along the road? I don't think I had, right? I don't think I uh, had any choice for that. And the golden pelt trash begins. Uh, I guess we play Casey here for some damage and hope for the best. This might be a loss. I might need to use the hook. Raven eggs are coming in. Please draw me a good one. Ah! Hook. I, I'm not willing to take a loss. Hit, hit, three in the air. Dut, dut, dut. Now three next turn and we win. Ah, a wolf cub. Not uh, fast enough. Bup, bup, bup. Dut, dut, dut. By the way, there is no reason to draw squirrels before you get a card you need the squirrels for. That's uh, that's my motto. Why would I draw a squirrel if I don't have anything to sacrifice it for? Five bones. Uh, Sigil says a joke, as always. One. Two. Okay, 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 okay. I see how it is. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna combine pelts. I prefer to get uh, two rares and two wolf pelts. So let's go get items. And then we're gonna go in the middle. I see there is an item before behind it. Uh, we obviously go for the three cost. And we obviously go for the snip snip for the panic button move. Let's go here and then we're gonna go here. So I should use at least one item now. Snip the opossum. <laughs> Whoop, Amoeba is here, and it is a bee creator. And Ida is also here, so uh, we win this. Uh, let's throw away the black goat or the snip snip. I think the snip snip is uh, more unimportant, because if I draw another squirrel, it's pretty much another card I can play on the, on the spot. 
Snip this just for the funsies. Let's go Amoeba. Let's go Squirrel. Let's go Iris here. Let's go the end of time. Boop, 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 boop. Let's go onwards. Time to buy some good units. Let's see what we get. Aha! Gorgon is here. Two cost, zero, one lethal, and and uh, yeah, uh, from Act 2. This thing, whenever something comes in, it attacks it on the spot, and lethal means that the moment it comes in, it kills it. So this is uh, whatever comes in dies. This is this is really strong. This is extremely strong, because this is literally locking down a lane, and if you give it damage, it becomes immortal, pretty much. I, I see this. I see this. I see the free unit cost, but uh, on what would I put it? On the adder? I don't think I need that on the adder. I can just play the adder by hand. It's a two cost. Who cares, really? Yeah, I don't I don't think I have anything that costs too much for me to get a free unit in. Maybe I could put it on the hippocampus. As uh, no matter when the hippocampus comes in, um, it will go underwater. Nah, it might still kill us, though. No, 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 no. no. Let's go with the Gorgon, as uh, it's the first thing my eye catched, and uh, in my opinion, it's a nicely made card. And it also follows what it's uh, supposed to do. Cyclops. Cyclops is a 3 cost, 2, 6 attacks both sides. Now this, for example, takes nothing from the theme of Cyclops. <laughs> the Gorgon takes everything from the theme of Gorgon. The Cyclops takes nothing. Uh, Headless Horseman. It's a 1, 4. Spikes, moves, tries to block, and goes underwater. This is, this is not working. This is literally unplayable. Um, this is also unplayable. <laughs> it comes back to your hand at the end of the turn. I'm gonna take the Mantis. Yeah, the Mantis is definitely decent. It's a 1-1 one, one and becomes a 2-2. Two, two. So it's something. And I guess the Turkey Vulture. Uh, it's a 3-3 three, three Flyer for 8. And I can play 8 right away. And it also protects itself. I think that's the play. I mean, Corpse Maggot. I laugh every time. Let's go here. Okay, let's see the rares. De oh, Oni is here. And I can actually play him. Let's go Oni. No questions asked. And uh, just because this is the mod and I, I think this is trash and this is mediocre, let's go with Cerberus. My deck is very expensive right now and uh, the only positive is that I have those two items and also bones, I would say. My second Black Goat is not really as useful as the first one. Let's go, as you cannot chain them or do pretty much anything with them. Okay, Gorgon is here. And uh, Wolf comes also here. Stuck these up. Moose bucks coming in. Can I play? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. The power of the Gorgon activated right away. Let's go. Look at this. Snip. And and she's immortal pretty much too. Uh, let's go over to the left. Start smacking this thing. Yeah, I mean, the Elk Fawn. Oh, Elk Fawn. Oh, move around. Moves around. Whoop. Bye. Next. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna do this. <laughs> the, 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 the super play. Oh, you hit me. Oh, whoops. Bye. Next. I love the Gorgon. I'm in love. Pass. Backline gets hit. Elk's coming in. Well, guess what? It's too late. Uh, no, it's actually not too late. Pass. Well, yeah, wolf died. So be it. Let's draw a squirrel. We do the outplay maneuver. We're not even killing the elk. Da, 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 da. Whoop. Nope. Nope. Dead. I don't know why it's so fun to me. It's so fun to me. I I, I love the Gorgon. I love the Gorgon. This is... This... I, I really like the fact that... Okay, I, I want to say something here. If you have custom sigils, I, I'm pretty sure that the, the creator of this uh, does not have custom sigils. I think this is the... He's just using... Or she, by the way. Uh, just using the... Um, the... What's it called? The sigil a day mod. It would be nice if these would have like... This is right now the most well-themed card of the expansion, in my opinion. And uh, that's my opinion. I mean, I don't know what the Bishoyo does. I mean, I don't know what a lot of them does do. But this thing... This feels like the Gorgon, you know? Something comes across to it, boom. Becomes petrified, dies instantly. We found the Black Goat, yo! <laughs> uh, a bit too late, though. But uh, still, it's a free adder, Hippocampus. It's not this. It is a Cerberus. It's a Gorgon. It's a Manticore. Maybe Black Goat. Do I need a Black Goat is the question, though. I don't feel like I need a Manticore uh, Black Goat. 
Yeah, I don't think I need a blood coat. By the way, this is because of the eyes I choose. Yeah, let's throw this away. Okay, I mean, black coat against skink is the play here. What the black coat will do, it will just make the adder easier to play. But that is only true if I have the black coat in my hand. Otherwise, it's not doing anything. And if I have... No, no, no. We're gonna go with the skink. We're gonna go with cheap costs. Here I would say flame... I mean, yeah, I'm gonna play him. Do I have anything twice? Mm, no. And even if I had flame, it is. I mean, this is bug pretty much. Damage, please give me damage, flame. No, I hate you. <laughs> what could I play here for life? For life. One is pretty much immortal. Mm, this is... Should I play? I guess the Mantis. I guess the Mantis. Yeah, Oni is definitely immortal. Yeah, let's go with the Mantis. So that it doesn't die in one shot. Keep it there, they said. Become more powerful. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, this is pretty much a 2-5 right now with the evolution. No, no, no. It's a Mantis God. It's a 3. It's a... That's a Mantis God. I didn't realize that was a Mantis God. Okay, then uh, maybe I should have pushed one more flame. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Okay, we get the bones, I know. Stack them up. Tuck, 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 tuck. So here's the Mantis, which is going to evolve into Mantis God. Here's Casey. Here's Bishoyo. I think Casey in the middle. Bishoyo sacrifice. Case in the middle, hits this and this, gets hit, and then hits this and this, kills them both, gets hit, and this also dies. Casey is clearing shop here, on his own, on his very own. Everything's dead with Casey. Look, look at this. Look at this. Have you seen such beauty? Have you seen such beauty? It's a two-turn clear shop. Look at this. Boom. Boom. And then he attacks. Boom. And now I lost my unit and I pretty much control the whole field. He cannot do anything against us right now. Uh, the Mantis could clear shop too if it didn't evolve into a stupid Mantis God. Uh, what do I want to do? Now what do I want to do? First of all, let's pass here. Let's buy some turns. Pass. Buy some more turns. Oh no, an arrow's coming in. Who cares? Pass. Buy some more turns. I want the poison snake, please. Can I get my adder, please? Now we buy some turns. I'm thinking about something here. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. For one second, I thought that uh, I will. If I clear everything, then everything's gonna come in and kill me. But uh, no, I'm, I'm just gonna clear one lane and then win with that lane. And uh, only in one very one, in one turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the? I, I need to draw my poison adder. That's the that's the play here. Pass. Yeah, we got the adder. So now we will go with. Um... Now that I think about it, I can clear these two traps. Yeah, let's play Kataki Kirawa. This says uh, this will come back to my hand. So we go here into here. Yep, into squirrel, into Bishoyo. Yeah, I don't know why I played the squirrel there. Yep, squirrel's dead. Does this kill the backline? Yeah, it kills the backline. This is dead. Attack Kirawa gives us even more bones, kills the backline too. Does the backline kill give us bones? I didn't see. Uh, let's stack them even better. Now, uh, I will say I will play the Biyoyo over here, the Leaping Frog. Bishoyo, be, be, be whatever. Stuck. Dead. It's back to my hand. I will do enough damage to win here. Oh, it's not enough damage. Okay, it doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter like at all. Uh, because uh, I would just pass and win this turn. <laughs> it's pretty much... No, I want to play the Gorgon. No, I want to play the Gorgon there. I want to play the Gorgon for fun. I wanted to see if they come in and at that very moment, if the Gorgon gets a kill, what happens. A wolf pelt. Yeah, we remove the front line as we always do. And then we win. Maybe get a sacrifice out of this. I can pretty much play a bunch of be be these things for sacrifices. Like, I don't need to use scrolls. 
You have already drawn cards? Are you insane? Are you crazy? What's happening here? Uh, let's get a nice picture in. No, I didn't draw the Oni. No. Thoroughly disappointed in myself. Thoroughly disappointed in myself. Let's go here. Let's get... Uh, who should be part of the picture? In case I use this. Gorgon. And let me show you. I think it's uh, pretty decent. I don't know if this is going to be... Uh, I... I I don't know. I don't know what's going to be. I don't know what this is going to be. I think it's going to be the adder. I think the adder is more funny. Uh, so I just wasted a bunch of time. I'm not even gonna use this. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind. I think I think if if I would disagree with my own ideas, what is this? The spirit can only be seen when it takes the form of paper. The spirit. It's a one. What? Shikigami. Insane! I love it. I love it. I mean, the card might not have to do anything with mythology or whatever, but I love, I love the idea of a one-cost zero-one that does two very useful things and nothing else. I love it. I love it. And if you want, you can even give it brittle to make sure that these things are gonna work like you want them to. You know, because it's like a paper crane and then it goes kaput. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, but I love this card as an idea. It's insane. You know what, I'm gonna even pick it up just for the fact that it's a nice idea. Maybe I should pick up the Hydra, to be honest, though. Uh, yeah, let's pick up the Hydra, you know. <laughs> but that thing is insane as an idea. I love it. I love it. So I have found two cards that I like right now from this mod. The one is the, um, as I said, the Gorgon, and the other is uh, the Paper Crane. Which right now you can transfer to anything and make it insane. Let's go over here, as I do have already two items. I will find thump, thump, thump thing, thump thing, something to sacrifice. Uh, I wanted to play the Oni. Maybe if I kill, okay, maybe in the last boss, if I delay it a bit, I can play Oni plus Cerberus plus Hydra. I don't see it happening though. I don't see it happening. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Gorgon. I'm sorry. I love you and all, but your sigils are so strong. You have no idea. I'm gonna transfer these sigils onto something that attacks sideways. I guess it's going to be Casey. Yep, I- Oh, this is insane! This is insane! This is insane! This is actually insane, I just realized. So, whenever something comes in front of Casey, it dies right away. Whenever something comes to the side of Casey, Casey has poisonous. That means it will kill whatever's in the side of him, too. So, nothing can kill him, because whatever comes in dies. Nothing can stay on the side of it, him, because whatever goes into the side next turn, it dies. And if a Mantis God comes in, because the Mantis God can attack sideways and will not die from the snipe. Then the Mantis God will die because he has spikes. I think I have moving around. No, I think I have flyers. I think I have like one flyer, maybe two. This is not a flyer, this is not a flyer. So I had moving, by the way, which I could have gotten. Boo. Boo. I could have gotten moving. Uh-oh. Please give me to draw whatever I want. Nice. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Let's not even talk about this, and let's just go on with my life. Our life, I guess. My life, our life, all our lives. Let's go. So right now, Casey's the most broken thing ever. Maybe I should die on purpose to get the death, uh, the death card created. Man, can you, can you realize how strong of a death card I could get if I ever lost? Like, with all these mods in, I could create like an immense monster. Most of my runs I have something to... I mean, it's it's really random though too, because I'm thinking about that I have the adder that's a 5-9 for stats, but uh, I'm not gonna get the adder for stats. The game's gonna give you whatever it wants. Yep, bones, more bones. Can I draw a KC turn 1? Well, 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 if it isn't Katakirawa. <laughs> and Turkey Vulture. And Wolf guy. <laughs> I mean, yes, and Wolf Cub. Do we win on the spot? No, we don't win on the spot. Um, I'm thinking about Katakirawa here. Hits boom boom. A Turkey Vulture over here uh, gets hit and moves to the side, making the Amalgam don't do anything to us. And the Wolf Cub on the very left. Uh, on the very left? But if the Wolf Cub's on the very left, the first attack it will do is going to be useless, as the Mole Man is uh, not going to be there. And the Vulture needs the room. I don't know why I'm thinking about this so much. Let's go Katakirawa here. Let's go Rare Smoke into Wolf Cub left. 
Let's go to the Portugal right, and we win. Pop, 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 a diet, give us a bone. Three damage. Da, 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 da. Now he is about to slam our hammer, but uh, yeah, the slammer hammer is never gonna happen, and we're just gonna win. Let's go here, let's do a KC of destruction. KC of death. Let's draw the Oni. Uh, let's draw the Oni. I don't have enough bones. Mistakes were made. Uh, we pass because this is a win. Should have played the Bone Lord the thing. The smoke, as they call it. Uh, we still win, right? This dies. You take three. Uh, this dies. You take three. It's six damage. We win on the spot. Okay, now is a good chance to play Casey. I think now is the best chance to play Casey. Because I want to do the insta-kill on the moon. You, you people say that uh, with Poisonous you can insta-kill the moon. Uh, did they ever super insta-kill the moon like I'm about to do here? I could have played the Oni, by the way. I made a mistake. I had bones in an item. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get Oni at some point on the stage. Moon, join us. Join us and see what happens. I hope what I hope happens. Come on, Casey, you gotta kill this. Casey, man, you had one job. Are you crazy? I'm disappointed. Thoroughly disappointed of Casey. Thoroughly disappointed of Casey. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna play around. I mean, you know what? Let's get the let's get the Oni on the field. Isn't that what we would like to have Oni on the field? Here, Oni is on the field for once. Now he's gonna become a four-six, right? Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, I had only last time too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had only last time too. And I was like, oh, I wanted the photo shoot and whatever else. Yeah, I remember. Mm, well, this is the photo shoot then, I guess. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use the meme, the snake thing. And we win. And we win. By the way, I'm uh, watching my metrics, and uh, as far as I understand, uh, also very logical, uh, a lot of people leave almost the moment uh, we arrive at this point. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense, uh, because I'm doing outrun stuff. So if you're about to leave, dropping a like helps immensely, and uh, if you want to say something, even a simple buy or uh, thanks for the video, or whatever, it doesn't really matter. I I'm, I'm just trying to fight the algorithm here. <laughs> fight? I guess uh, join, I don't even know what to say. It's it's really weird, man. Uh, if, if it wasn't for this whole, uh, as long as people interact, the more people watch, whatever, then I, I wouldn't be begging for stuff like that. But uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, please inscribe your name. Oh, the name. Ah, inscription, the name of the game. I just realized this is, uh, this is written wrong. It's an epsilon. <laughs> well, this is, I guess... One of those days. One of those day. Das. One of... Those... Days. <laughs> you know what the play is? This thing. Ah, yeah, ah, ah. It's a lot of argue, obviously, but... Well, it is actually one of those days because of the, the adder power-up. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna cut it off here. Uh, what's your opinion on um, this mod? I, I think the mod is really fun. That's why I played it twice. And uh, what you know what? What's your opinion now that you saw a bit more of the mod? I would like to hear your opinion on the theme of the cards, you know? Do you also believe that the Gorgon and the Crane, I, I mean, it wasn't Crane, the Origami Crane, whatever it was, is is themed nice and a nice card? Or do you believe that uh, something like the Oni is awesome? Because the Oni and other things have good art, but uh, those cards that have the, you know, the theme, the feeling, like, that that's what I chase. That's the awesome thing with mods. You can get a card that is representing something very specific or doing something very specific and I'm really uh, eager and excited to see more mods use more stuff like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this will start happening in uh, a week, two weeks, a month. Uh, later down the road, I'm pretty sure that uh, we will have so many custom sigils and so many customization and cards and whatever. I, I mean, I I'm imagining the future right now that uh, we will get even more pinpoint accurate abilities on the cards, you know? Because right now we're still using just the 15-20 sigil that the game comes with, and then maybe the 15-20 sigils that the, um, that, that Act 2 has, 
and maybe some sigils from one sigil a day mod so overall right now we are really i guess we don't have that many sigils but uh, i'm really excited to see what we could create with sigils because i mean sigils is pretty much an ability uh, like other card games have things like when this enter the battlefield xyz happens well this game has a little sigil that does that so <laughs> I'm really keen to see that. And you, do you know what also would be fun? If we could get some cards that uh, are um, have negatives. You know, like like Brittle. That's I, I said about this, but uh, I'm not sure if anybody had done that and right now in the modding community. By the way, if any modder is at this point in the video and wants to uh, listen to what I'm saying here, uh, ping me up. So, are there negative sigils? I would like to see some sigils like, uh, when this creature dies, the opposing creature gets more stats, you know? And then that creature is gonna be strong. For example, one cost 3-3, three, three. okay? But when it dies, then the opposing creature gets plus 2, plus 2, you know? And then an adder comes in and boom, it's a 3-3 three, three adder. You know, things like that, in my opinion, are awesome. Because that's the play. If you want to have a unit that's statted well, um, you either increase the cost or you don't give it good sigils. And uh, in my opinion, I mean, this is literally, this happens in Act 3, right? When you try to create a card, it gives you the choice to put bad sigils on it to make the card more powerful, to get more currency out of it. So in my opinion, there should be more sigils. Because right now, what 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 is there? It's the, it's the, there is a sigil that you lose the unit forever if it dies. It's, uh, there, there is Brittle. There is, uh, the card comes back to your hand, although that isn't even that bad because uh, you could uh, have that sigil on a one cost unit with, uh, on a pack rat, for example, and get a bunch of cards out of it, a bunch of item, items out of it. And then what else is negative? The clock, the clock from Act 3, the thing that makes the opponent, or the opponent have one more attack. And I think that's it pretty much from negative sigils. I might be missing some. I mean, there is obviously waterborne in the flying, but, <laughs> yeah, jokes. <laughs> um, um, but yeah. By the way, Act 2, Act 3 does not think that flying is even worth a point. It, you can put flying on any creature you want, it doesn't care. So that's uh, that's another um, little info there. And yeah, I think there should be more sigils, like the one I said. When this unit dies, enemy gets plus 2, plus 2. And give it to a unit that has high stats, you know. Uh, create a, a 1 cost 3-1. And when it dies, it gives the stats to opponent. You know, you, you can mix it up. You can find some sigil ideas that might be good. Or, or um, like weak, weak bones. You can, instead of brittle, weak bones. When this uh, unit gets hit, when, when this unit, when this unit gets hit, it dies or something. Or scary. When this unit uh, has an opponent uh, across it, it dies on the spot, and make it something that attacks for a lot. And the moment something comes in, without even attacking it, it kills it. Like a super waterborne, you know. Uh, instead of going underwater, the moment the enemy plays, then it dies. If if you're lucky and an enemy doesn't appear in the lane, then it doesn't die. You know, there are so many things you could do. I'm really excited about this, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just uh, talking randomly here, so this time we're gonna end this, and I even said that most people leave at the end, and for some reason I went ahead and did this uh, whole e essay about it. Either way, that's going to be it. Thanks for sticking with me, thanks for being up to this very point on the video, and uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, and see you guys around.